All right. Now that I've properly sharpied out the address of my abode, it's summer here, and that means we have Renaissance festivals. And that means that when people ask me to collaborate and get a cosplay from their store, that I want to get something for a Renaissance festival. So, here's a surprise bag. It has one of two things in it. It either has Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones, or it has Arwen, what's her last name? We don't know. Arwen something or other from uh, Lord of the Rings. I want to see Evenstar. Evenstar? Arwen Evenstar? Evenstar? Arwen. Everybody knows who she, she has is. Eaten. So Cosplay Sky asked me if I wanted to collaborate and review one of their costumes again, and I said, yes, of course I do. But then, of course, I'm always like, hmm, what should I choose? I don't know. There's so many to choose from. So Nikki and I went to a Renaissance festival recently, uh, and I wore Nikki's Legolas cosplay, but not as Legolas. I just had a random wig on, which she got from Cosplay Sky, and I was like, damn. What if I had my own cosplay to cosplay at a Renaissance festival? So I was like, which two characters could I choose to cosplay at a Renaissance festival? I could choose Jamie Lannister, who I've wanted to cosplay for a while anyway, since Snakey cosplay Cersei. Or I could choose Arwen, no last name. Uh, <laughs> Arwen, daughter of Elrond. Ar Arwen, daughter of Elrond from Lord of the Rings. Because Nikki cosplays Legolas, also Arwen's just cool and pretty, and who doesn't want to be an elf? So, I said, Cosplay Sky, you choose for me which one you're gonna send me. So it's one of these two things. I posted on Instagram and Patreon and everything, Twitter too. And Arwen technically won the poll for who to choose from, but I was still like, ah, cause it was like by like 2% she won. So I was like, nah, Cosplay Sky, just surprise me. Send me one of the two things and it'll be that much more exciting when I open it. So here it is. It came to me in the mail. And it came to me rather quickly because Cosplay Sky is pretty good at that. So I haven't opened this package at all yet, as you can see. I'm not sure what's in it. I haven't even flipped a coin to find out. Desiree, make a noise if you think it's Jamie. Be silent if you think it's Arwood. She thinks it's Arwen. Nikki has... Sp Desiree has spoken. <laughs> she thinks it's Arwen. Nikki, what do you think it is? I'll go against Day Day and say Jamie. Let's stop wasting time and open this baby up. So far, all I see is a white bag inside of this bag. That Could be sense. anyone. Ah! Calvin, who do you think it is? Your asshole. What? <laughs> Judging by the amount of brown and the photo on this thingy, it's Jamie Lannister. Nikki was right. She gets a tree. What? Do you want a treat, Nikki? That's what I was gonna give Desiree if she was there. No, I feel like vomiting. I want nothing. Alright, so Jamie Lannister is who it is, which I'm actually really excited about because I wanted to cosplay him with Nikki. Nikki, do you want me to be part of Cersei Baratheon Lannister with this? Yes. Okay. Jamie can work at a Renaissance fair. That's exactly what Jamie does. He works on a Renaissance fair. <laughs> so I think this is supposed to come with gloves, pants, and the jacket and belt. Calvin, don't eat the packaging, please. Well, I did custom sizing, sent them my measurements, and they said, yes, we will custom size this costume to you. So here we go, first bit, gloves. They actually fit pretty well, which is surprising, because most cosplay gloves don't fit like at all. The pinky's a little big, but that's okay. It also comes with his belt, and it's got, well, not quite the same claspy thingies. I think they're actually supposed to be lines in the real thing. But that's okay, we can't all be screen accurate. It's got these metal bits, which is nice. Oh, it comes with a shirt. Oh, this is a nice shirt. Oh, I like this shirt. Oh, it's got little ties on it and everything. Oh, well fancy. Here are his pants, which just look like some khakis from Walmart. Honestly, that is what they look like. And I think they're supposed to be in the actual thing, like a tie thing, like they're loop tied or something because everything in that show doesn't have zippers, just to make it that much more interesting when they take their clothes off. And the creme de la creme. Oh, oh, his jacket. First of all, it looks pretty nice. It's like the right color and everything, and I'm actually looking forward to uh, aging this. But it's got the like same stitching that his has right here. It's got the little tie thingies. It's got these little metal thingies. Let's put it on and see how it fits. It's really long. Ooh, 
It is really long. This is cool. I like this. And it's just like douchey and open. It's Jamie, so probably. I've always loved this Jamie Lannister coat from the first time I ever saw it in the episode. I was like, yes, that's the douchebag I want to cosplay. I'm not sure how these are supposed to work. These are like triangle tie pieces that I'm kind of confused. Is this supposed to go through this? I don't know. It feels really good. And it fits well. It fits my arms well. It fits my shoulders and I can move in it. It's not too small. And I don't think it's too loose either. So let's see what it looks like all on. And we're back. Uh, well, I'm not very happy with Jamie's uh, makeup right now. Or this wig. I don't know, maybe I'll try to do the long haired version instead. I thought short hair would be easier. I was wrong. Here's the cosplay, fully on, not that you can see it anyway. Here's the jacket. So these awkward little tie things right here, uh, I don't get them. Because they have the little ribbons that's supposed to go with them, right? Yeah. But if you tie the ribbon to this, it doesn't close the dang jacket. So like, I'm just kind of stuck like shoving these in here away and then just like pulling the jacket closed sort of and like making the belt make it keep in place. It needs like a snap or something, I don't know. Or just like the ties right here as opposed to back here. But that's once again, something I can fix myself. I like the jacket's fit. It's nice. It fits me. It's long enough on my arms that are monkey arms and it looks all right in the back and like it fits my wingspan? Shoulders. That's the word I'm looking for. So overall it fits well. For having done the custom fitting thing, these pants seem to fit well. Uh, other than the waistband being a little too tight, uh, they like fit. I just wish the waistband were looser so it doesn't give me such like defined hips. And the shirt fits really well and everything is the right length and it's comfortable and it's relatively easy to move in. Is that the moves you use to seduce Cersei to yeah. bed? Yeah. Hey Cersei, how's it going? <laughs> Things I wish were different about this cosplay. I wish that the lining on the inside, which is nice, went all the way around the bottom of the jacket because you totally see it between my legs. <laughs> and also, if I could grab it, got it, all right. The jacket has a split down the middle, or it's supposed to. It's supposed to have a split down the middle because it's like a riding jacket and you're supposed to be able to ride a horse with it. Uh, and it does not. Not in this cosplay. These are just little things that they overlooked, I think. But I'm all about screen accuracy, so I'm real picky. This belt is exponentially too long, like all belts from Cosplay Sky, I've noticed. It's too long. And then this belt is pretty nice for a cosplay belt. It could be. Like, I'm all about real looking belts, so it's very possible I'll just take all of this nice, pretty stuff off and put it on a real belt, because of course it's like felty on one side, real leather on the other side. And this is like the only bit that's not actually metal-y thing, because most of the other stuff is all metal, because these little things are metal and these cute little things are metal. So clearly this thing needs aged. It looks very clean right now. In the show, he's obviously been rolling in some dirt or fighting bad guys or getting blood on his jacket or something like that. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna age the shit out of this. But overall, Cosplay Sky is pretty good at making their things like accurate and fit well. And that's why I like them. And it feels nice and it's not cloth. It's like pleather stuff, which is great. And it's lined and these pants have actual pockets, which is a, uh, pretty schnazzy, if I do say so myself. One thing about this cosplay that I love is this shirt. I just am very pleased with this shirt. It's a good shirt. I'll untuck it so we can see all the shirt. Oh, there's my chest. Ho ho ho! It needs a little age too, which needs to go through the washing machine a couple of times, but it seems like it's like linen or something like that which is like a realistic material. It's got like a nice texture to it. It's got all these little ties like his shirt does. And I swear it's like the shirt he wears throughout the entire show because he never changes it or something. And it's like a nice color and it's comfortable and it has these cute little ties. And I just, I just really like this shirt. It fits well, it's comfortable. Favorite thing about this cosplay, this shirt. Yeah. Kevin!
This is what the jacket looks like, not like folded up or whatever. It's got these little ring thingies. I'm really not sure what purpose they serve, but they're there. And maybe I'll get a wig for it that actually looks like a season one wig, but cosplay sky. Word. What the fuck? Anyway, Cosplay Sky, thank you so much for this costume. It's really cool and I like it a lot and I can't wait to age it so that it looks more show appropriate. Uh, thank you all for watching and you guys are the reason that I get to make cool content like this and bitch and whine about how I don't like my Jamie Lannister makeup yet because I need to work on it. Ah! You can catch a video somewhere on my channel at some point about me aging this thingy so that it looks cooler and I'm gonna just do a lot of cool stuff on this. I'm very excited. Don't uh, look at my dog! Give it. Look at my dog. I did the red. Ah, you smell like being...